Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part three, the remaining exercise of that remaining questions 3.2 innings. So we have already done four questions before you can, if you have not watched that video, you can watch it. So now today we'll start with the question number five. So find the smallest number by which the following numbers should be divided so that the quotient is a perfect square. Also find the square root of the quotient. So now we have this number 396. So we'll find the prime factors of 396 with the help of the prime factorization. So these are the factors. So what we can see 2, 2, 3 and 3. So 396 is and uh, this is 11. So we can write over here 396 is 2, 2, 3, 3 and 11. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a group or we can say that is a pairs. But now this is, this is unpaired. So we have, that is 11 is extra. So they said what should be divided. So what we should do 396 divided by 11. When you divide this, you get 36. So now you will take then what uh, again they said also find the square root of the quotient. So you got 36. You have to take the square root of that. So root of 36 that is 6. 6 into 6 that is 36. So answer is 6. Now again here 1620. You will solve this one. So you get these factors. So now let us write the same over here. So now let, let us make a group of 2. So left is 5. So what you will do? So this you are going to divide it by 1620. So after dividing the, this 1620 divided by 5, you get 324. So we have to take the square root of 324. That is 18. 18 into 18, that is 324. So 18 is the answer. Again for 768, you will start with 2. So now this is not possible with 2. Uh, here this is 2, 3 za, and this is not possible with 2. So 3, 1 za. So now these are the factors. Same thing you, you will write it over here. So after writing the factors here, so we are going to divide it into group of 2. So this is alone. So we are going to divide this one 760 divided by 3 that is 256 so root of 256 is 16 16 into 16 is 256 again for 1008 so now this is not possible we two will go with 3 so 3 seven za and then 7 one za so again this factor same thing we are going to write it over here so now we will from group of 2 so 7 is alone so we are going to divide this number by 7 which is 144 so root of 144 is 12 12 into 12 is 144 again for 1452 you will go with 2 now this is not possible with 2 we will go with 3 so now we we get a 1 1 to 1 so 1 to 1 will be only with 11 11 za and 11 ones are so you have to at least learn from the square roots. One square is one, two square is four, at least till 12, uh, at least till 20. So 20 square is 400. So you, you can easily do the examples. Now here, so this are group of two, this three is alone. So you are going to divide this number by 3, so which is 484 and 484, that is 22. 22 into 22 is 484. Now look at here. This is possible with 3, but then this is not possible with 3, then that is only possible with 7. So these are the factors. So now we, when we group it, we get this 3 is alone. So that is 9604. And now see here, because this is a big number, I'll show you how to get this one. So now there are many ways. So one of the way is now see, uh, 
if we are taking here 100 square that is going to be 10,000 so this is 9604 so if we are taking 90 square so 90 square is going to be 9981 and we'll put here because that is square means two zeros so this number 9604 is in between this 90 and 100 so now you are going to see the units place so it is either going to be 92 because two twos are four or it's going to be 98 so because this is eight it's a 64 so now let us see 98 into 98 if you multiply this 98 you can just multiply and see which is 9604 92 into 92 is not possible okay so this is one of the way to find out if it is a big number so now you find the length of the side of the square having area 841 square centimeters so the area is given of a square is 841 you want to find the length of the side of the square so we'll start with the formula area of square is that is s side square means s into s so that is side into side so already the area is given means below this you are going to write here 841 is side square so we want when you square both the sides we get the side so that will be root of 841 and root of 841 is again 29th so this also you can check it now see here this will be 10 square is 100 20 square is 400 30 square will be 900 so 841 comes in between 20 and 30 so now we want we can see the the unit place is 1 so it will be either 21 or it is going to be 29 because 9 nines are 81 so you can check with both 21 into 21 and 29 into 29 but I have already done it so this the answer is 29 29 into 29 is 841 so 29 you have to write the unit as well because this is centimeter so always the square is uh, this area is going to be square centimeter and if you just take the side that is just going to be in centimeter that is the side of square so same over here only the number is changed so you will take the square root of this one that is 56 you can check 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 and so on you can just check for this 3136 so now here again 676 again the same thing you have to start with the formula then write this area over below this one so root of 676 that is 26 so see your 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 so this is 676 so it will be in between 20 and 30 so because now this is 6 so it should be either 24 or it should be here 26 so you can try and the answer is 26 so the side of square is 26 centimeter now find the smallest number by which of the following number should be multiplied to get a perfect square also find the square root of the square number obtained so now this is the number given and we have to see by which it should be multiplied so now we will take the factors so this is not possible with 2 because this is 5 so it goes with 3 then this goes with 5 so now what are the this one these are the, the factors of 2925 so now what we can see when you group it now this 13 is alone so now we want what should be multiplied this side so we will multiply this one 13 with this one 2925 into 13 you get 38025 so root of they said also find the square root of the square number obtained so we got this number so we have to take the square root of that 38025 so that will get going to be 195 so here again you can see here 100 square is 10,000 then 200 square is 40,000 so now this is 38025 so now look at this 5 so where are we going to get here so 190 square you will see that is 1990 so 1990 that is going to be 9981 and this will be 17 here will be 19 so this is going to be 
361. So 361 and then you put two zeros. So now it is close to this number. So what are you going to do? Now you will look at this 5. So that is going to be just 195. Because 200 is not possible. So it will it is in between 190 and 200. Because here 200 is 40,000. And this is 36,000. So that can be only whenever there is 5 means it should be here. It is only possible with here, here also you have to take 5. So 195 into 195 when you multiply this you get 38,025. So now here again you will take the factors. So here this is a group so 7 is extra. So you are going to multiply by 7 so you get here 5929 and when you take the square root of that so that is 77. Here the same when you group it this is extra you are going to multiply this one you get 6084 which when you take the square root of that that will be 78. Again here the same so now when you group it, this three, uh, six, uh, 3 is extra. So you multiply by 3, you get this number. So you will take the square root of 2304, which is 48. So 48 is the answer. Same over here. So it should be 176. You can check. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.